They had this uh, old tool, kind of grand, it's are uh, really versatile. You can do a lot with them. Look at this over here. Oh, just that uh, wheel. Hold on. <laughs> this is kind of hard to adjust. I think I might be all right. Yeah. Okay, it's all the diamond came down it. And, uh, just about the right angle, I think. So let me start feeding it into the wheel. Make sure it's all secure. Let me touch them. I'm going to go across the very far. Okay. I'm going to take this mill bike stick here and just barely touch the side. Get up here, okay? Yeah, run down. I'm just going to touch this edge here. Okay, that'll take the fuzz off the side of the wheel and uh, leave a less scratchy finish. Now, let me get this off here. Now, these cutter grinders, you see how the work head here is in relationship with the table? Now, this is normally, this base is flipped around to this side, moving the whole head over this way. But flipping it this way, you see I moved the head over, and uh, I can use a small grinding wheel or a small car. Okay, kind of one of the things that you can do. I think you can see it from this angle pretty good, where the edge of the table is here, and how uh, the work head is hanging actually all the way over <laughs> the edge of the table. Okay, well, you can do the same with a tailstock, but I don't think I need a tailstock to do. Uh, some of the grinding I'm going to be doing. So, uh, this here is uh, the uh, setup I uh, used to dress the wheel. I roll it around here. I just got an old tool post on here, and I got the diamond dresser in that V block at that angle. Okay, and you keep rotating the diamond at this angle and keep it sharp. And you can also rotate the diamond straight into the wheel and go across it fast, and you'll get a lot coarser cut. So I angled, I angled the diamond down, and I went across the wheel slowly to kind of close that wheel up because it's a, a very coarse wheel. And I'm going to do some light grinding with it and get a reasonable finish. So that's just uh, kind of what I'm kicking around here. But I thought I'd show some of this uh, simple stuff with a with the tool and cutter grinder that is a very versatile machine. 
it's uh, it does a little bit of everything, but it takes uh, a while to set up. And uh, as far as accuracy, if uh, if you look at uh, one of the recently uh, uh, loaded uh, videos of old Monarch factory videos, the air tracer valve um, for their uh, tracer packs for their lathes were made on a uh, number two cutter grinder for the spool or the piston part and uh, a sun and hone for the body or the bore. So I thought you might find that interesting. Okay, I'm just kicking around things. I uh, thought I'd show you that little trick with uh, dress and a wheel or and the conglomeration of stuff I used to do it with. You can, you can put together just about anything you want on this machine. There's no rules. Okay, bye.